Today we'll discuss how to find the lateral surface area of a cuboid. So first, let's see what a cuboid is. So this is a cuboid where the yellow lines indicate that this is the breadth of a cuboid. The blue lines indicate that this is the length of cuboid. And the green lines indicate that this is the height of cuboid. And in this cuboid, all the yellow lines would have the same length, that is, breadth or let's say if this is length b then all of the yellow lines would have the same length b and similarly if the blue lines indicate length shown as l then all of the blue lines here and the one in the behind would be l and all the green lines would be h standing for the height so this is our height h so this would be h this would be h and the behind one all would be h so these are the dimensions of a cuboid. Now let's try to find what really lateral surface area means. So we'll take our cuboid aside and let's do a simple word breakdown for our lateral surface area. So first the word we have concerned with is lateral, which means the sides of an object. So somewhere we're not talking about the top or the bottom. We're just concerned with the sides of an object. And on top of that, we're concerned about the surface area. So here, surface simply means the faces of the cuboid, which are six in total, right? And we're talking about the area of these faces. So if this is our face, then we're talking about the area of such face. So lateral surface area is the surface area of the sides of a cuboid, and we're not including top or bottom faces here. So now we know what to do. Let's try to figure out a way how we can do it. So an easier task here would be if I can open this cuboid up such that I have a much more clear understanding of how each face looks and what the dimensions of each face is, then it would really help us. So let's try unboxing this cuboid. So let's make it slightly smaller, place it here and let's see what will happen if we unbox it. Now we're opening the cuboid such that it opens like this. And you can see very clearly how each of the face is opening up. And we can see it in slow motion. So this is how it closes. And this is again how it opens up. How each face is contributing in the structure. And now let's take it in a proper way such that we can find the area of each face. So we can take it like this and now it's easiest for us to calculate the area of each face and signify what dimensions each face has. So if a cuboid has dimensions L, B and H, then the yellow lines we said indicate the breadth, the blue lines indicate the length and the green lines indicate the height. So we opened it up, this face came here, the left and right faces opened that side and the back face opened that side. And note here, in this opening, this is the bottom face and this is the top face. So both of these faces we are not including. So this is not included. This is not included. And we are trying to find the surface area of the remaining four faces. And now the remaining four faces are nothing but rectangles. And we know how to find the area of a rectangle. Because if we have a rectangle with length L and breadth B, then the area of this rectangle is L into B. So now if we have the dimensions of each of these four rectangles, then we'll be able to ascertain the area of each of these. And then we'll just add it up to get the lateral surface area of the cuboid. So here the dimensions would be the green lines stand for H and the remaining places where we can see the length H is here, here, here. And these are all the places having H. Similarly, let's talk about our breadth. All the yellow lines indicate our B. And all the blue lines show us the length. So all these and this would be length. And as you can see, this is the top face. So here top face, you can see we have two length here and two breadth here, as we can see here. So now that we have dimensions of all the rectangles, all we need to do is find the area of each of these four faces. 
So let's do that. Starting with this, we have H and B as dimensions of this rectangle. So the area of this rectangle is simply H into B. Similarly, the area of this rectangle is also H into B. Now talking about this rectangle, the dimensions are H and L. So the area of this rectangle is H into L. And similarly, the area of this rectangle is H into L. And we are not including the top and bottom faces because we are calculating the lateral surface area. So all that we have to do now is to add up all these areas. So we will add up all these areas. And this really makes sense because if this is our cuboid and this face and the top and bottom faces are not including and the dimensions are length, breadth and height, then this face would be L into H. Similarly, this the behind face would be L into H and the front face here would be H into B and the back face would also be H into B. And so we have the lateral surface area as H into L plus H into L plus H into B plus H into B. And now if we add it up, we get 2 times HL plus 2 times HB. And if we take 2H common, we get the lateral surface area of the cuboid is 2H into L plus B. So 2 times the height into the summation of length and breadth. And that is the formula for the lateral surface area of cuboid with dimensions H, B and L. So that's about it. Thank you.